In today's video, we're going to be going over a detailed look at capacitors, and we are going to look at if we change the voltage across the plates of the capacitor, the plate separation and the plate area, how does that affect the following four things? That would be the capacitance of the capacitor, the amount of charge that's stored in the capacitor, the potential difference across the plates of the capacitor, and the electric field strain between the plates of the capacitor. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Step by Step Science. When I look at my YouTube analytics, I see that so many people who watch our videos have not subscribed. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give the thumbs up, leave us a nice positive comment, and don't forget to share this video. In addition, we have made a bunch of other teaching learning materials that you can find at our Teachers Pay Teachers website. In fact, there's an online lab that goes with this video using one of the PHET interactive simulations. All of our materials are available at our Teachers Pay Teachers website. The link is in the description below. And as I said, we're going to be using one of the excellent simulations from PHET Interactive Simulations in this video. This is the website. This is the name of the simulation, Capacitor Lab Basics. It's an HTML5 simulation. So you can run it on all of your computers, tablets, and Chromebooks. And in this video, we are going to be looking at if we change the voltage across the capacitor, if we change the plate area and the plate separation, how does that affect the capacitance of the capacitor, the amount of charge that can be stored, the voltage across the plates, and the electric field strength. And we're going to be looking at that in two different cases, one where we keep the capacitor connected to the battery, and the second when we disconnect the capacitor from the battery. Now, we're going to be using the following four equations to explain the observations that we're going to see. The first equation says that the capacitor is equal to the permittivity of free space times the plate area divided by the plate separation. The amount of charge that's stored is equal to the capacitance times the voltage. The voltage across the plates is equal to the electric field strength times the distance. And the electric field strength is equal to the charge density divided by the permittivity of free space. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at is if we keep the plate area and the plate separation the same and just increase the battery voltage when the capacitor is connected to the battery. So we are going to look at the simulation. I have all the boxes checked here so we get as much information as possible. I think I will drag this voltmeter onto the screen here so that we can see the voltage across the plates of the capacitor. I'll put the leads on there like that so we get a positive voltage. And then we are simply going to increase the battery voltage and see how that affects the capacitance, which you can see remains the same. You can see as we increase the voltage, we get more charge is stored. When we increase the voltage, the voltage across the capacitor increases. And also you can see when we increase the voltage that the electric field strength is increasing also. So you can see that we saw that the capacitance stayed the same. The charge increases, the voltage increases, and also the electric field strength increases. So we can enter those into our table here. Stay the same, increase, increase, and increase. Now, we're going to give an explanation for each of those. For the capacitance, you can see that the capacitance is going to remain the same because it's only dependent upon the area and the distance and not the voltage. You can see the charge increases because the amount of charge is directly proportional to the voltage. You can see that the voltage increases because the voltage is always going to be equal to the voltage of the battery, and we increase the voltage of the battery. And then you can see that the electric field strength is directly related to the voltage, and so we, when we increase the voltage, we increase the electric field strength. Okay, so that was the case where we increased the battery voltage. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave the voltage the same and the area the same, and we're going to increase the plate separation. So we're going to go back to our simulation so we can do that. I'm going to bring this back down to 100. I'm going to bring this all the way down to 2. We're going to leave the voltage at 1.5. We have our voltmeter, and all we're going to do now is we're going to increase the plate separation. As I increase the plate separation, you will see the capacitance decreases. You will see the amount of charge that is stored is decreasing. You will see the voltage is remaining constant and you will see that the electric field strength is decreasing. You can see the electric field strength lines are getting less dense, higher density and less dense for the electric field lines here. So we can go back to the simulation, excuse me, back to our presentation, and we saw the capacitance decreases, we saw the charge decreases, the voltage stays the same, and the electric field strength decreases. 
Well, why does the capacitance decrease? We have our equation. We increase the distance, and that's directly, or excuse me, inverse proportional to the capacitance is inverse proportional to the distance. So we increase the distance and we decrease the capacitance. If we decrease the capacitance, then that's going to affect the amount of charge that's stored because those are directly related to each other. So we lower the capacitance and we lower the amount of charge. The voltage is the same once again because it's just the voltage of the battery. We didn't change that. And then the electric field strength is going to be decreasing because that's inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. Increase the distance, decrease the electric field strength. All right. Okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to now increase the plate area and keep the plate uh, separation the same. So we'll go back to our simulation. I think I'll bring this back to 2 and we'll start at 100 and we're going to now increase the um, plate area. And when we increase the plate area, you will see the capacitance increases. Bigger plates, more charge can be stored. The voltage is going to stay the same because it's just the voltage of the battery and the electric field strength is going to be the same because basically we're keeping the charge density the same. Increase the plates, but also increase the charge. So we can go back to our table here and we saw that the capacitance increases, the charge increases, the voltage stay the same and the electric field strength stays the same. Okay, well, why did the capacitance increase? Because we increased the area, the capacitance is directly proportional to the area. Why did the charge stay the same? Well, the bigger the plates, more charge, and more capacitance, more charge. So we increase the capacitance, we increase the amount of charge that can be stored. Those are directly related to each other. The voltage, again, is just the voltage of the battery. We didn't change that. And the electric field strength is going to remain the same because if we use this equation, you can see that when the, plate, when the capacitor is connected to the battery, that the electric field strength is not dependent upon the area. Basically, it has to do with the charge density, and we're keeping the charge density the same. Okay, so that's the two things, or the three things that we were going to do when we kept the capacitor connected to the battery. And now, of course, we're going to be doing the uh, second two things there, and we're going to be doing that with the capacitor charged and then disconnected from the battery. And the first thing we're going to do is increase the plate separation. So we're going to go back and we're going to start down here with 100 and leave that at 2 and we're going to just going to make sure that our capacitor is fully charged. You can see 1.5, 1.5 and you will see now we can click here and we can disconnect the capacitor from the battery. When we disconnect the capacitor from the battery you can see the charge will stay there and the energy and, and will stay there and you can now increase or we're now going to increase the plate separation and you will see once again, the capacitance decreases. The charge has nowhere to go because it's disconnected from the battery, so it's going to remain the same. The amount of charge remains the same. The voltage is going to increase as we pull those plates apart, do work to pull those plates apart, and the electric field strength is going to remain the same. Okay, so you can see when we do that, that um, the capacitance decreases, the charge stays the same, the voltage increases, and the electric field stays the same. All right, let's go back to the presentation. We can enter that in here as decrease, stay the same, increase, and stay the same. Well, why does the capacitance decrease? Well, it's the same reason when it was connected to the battery. Uh, uh, we increase the distance and we decrease the capacitance. The charge is going to stay the same because there's really nowhere for the charge to go. Once the charge is on the plates and we disconnect it from the battery, then we cannot change the amount of charge. We don't change the amount of charge that's stored on the plates. And we're going to increase the voltage because you can see from this equation that as we pull those plates apart, we're going to be doing work and we're going to be increasing the voltage because the voltage is directly proportional to the plate distance, the plate separation. And the electric field strength is going to stay the same because the charge density is going to stay the same. The plates remain the same size, they have the same area, the amount of charge remains the same, and therefore the plate density remains the same. This is just the constant, the permittivity of free space, and therefore the electric field strength is going to remain the same. The electric field strength is directly related to the charge density. Okay, now we are going to go back, and the next thing we're going to do, or the last thing we're going to do, is we're going to increase the plate area with the capacitor disconnected. So we're going to go back. I'm going to bring this back down to 2, and we're going to increase the area. We could just, for the heck of it, just make sure the plate char capacitor is still charged. When we increase the plate area, you can see the capacitance increases, but we're disconnected from the battery, so the charge remains the same, 
and the voltage is going to decrease, and then also the electric field is going to decrease because we're decreasing the charge density. All right? So we can go back, and we can say that the capacitance increased, but the charge stays the same, the voltage decreased, and then also the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the electric field decreased. Okay, so the capacitance increased because the area of the plates increased, and those are directly proportional. The amount of charge stays the same because you can't remove the charge once it's been disconnected. And we're going to look first at the electric field strength. Well, the electric field strength is going to decrease because the charge density is going to decrease. The plates got bigger, but the amount of charge remained the same. So basically, the density of the charge on those plates decreased. And when we decrease the plate density, excuse me, the charge density, then we're going to decrease the electric field strength. The charge, the excuse me, the charge density and the electric field strength are directly proportional to each other. Okay. All right, and then if we're going to be decreasing the electric field strength, then we can say also that we're going to be decreasing the voltage because the voltage is directly proportional to the electric field strength. There you go. Okay, so we did all five of those things. Now, before we go, let's just go back and to our simulation and look at one more thing when we fully charge the capacitor, and then we're going to discharge the energy through a light bulb, and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to go to the light bulb window here, and we're going to increase the voltage as high as possible. We are going to decrease the separation, and we're going to increase the plate area, and that is going to give us the most amount of charge and the most energy stored on the plates. And then we're going to de disconnect the capacitor from the battery, and we're going to discharge the capacitor through the light bulb, and you will see that the bulb will burn as long as there is charge on the plates. The charge is going back from to where it came from, so to speak. And as that happens, then the energy between the electric field is decreasing and the bulb will burn as long as there's energy on the plates, between the plates. And that energy is being used to light that light bulb. And as the amount of energy between the plates or in the electric field decreases, then the brightness of the bulb decreases. And the bulb will continue to burn until the plates are no longer charged and there's no more energy stored in the electric field. And you can see it's going back to zero just like that. Okay, so there you go. We did all five of those fascinating things, seeing what happens when we change the plate voltage and the separation and the, the plate area. And then we showed you how we can discharge that energy through that bowl. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to do all the following five things. Subscribe to our channel, Step by Step Science. Get all our excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. And of course, you should give us, uh, no, no, don't forget to click the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, leave us a nice positive comment, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.